What is up, guys? We are back on a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Pikachu wants to play to start the episode, and I lost my controller. Alright, that's all the playing you get today, Pikachu. Alright, so we have our rival over there, so we're going to skip him for now. I'm a guard. I'm on guard duty, and I take my duty very seriously. But gee, am I ever thirsty? Wish I had some tea to drink. Oh, hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here. I gotta get some tea. I have to get some tea for this dude. Okay, back outside means there's only one route to go, and that's to talk to our rival. Oh, hey, Nick. Seems like we can't pass through the gate there. But the underground pass should take us to Vermilion City. It's a bit dark and spooky, though. Huh? Hold still for one sec, Nick. Whoa, bro, you're getting a little close. What are you doing? I was wondering what the sparkly thing was. This, this was stuck in your hair. A revive. Why is there a revive stuck in my hair? Revives? Okay, you don't need to tell me what a revive does. Oh, you're gonna give me some extra ones, too. Oh, th thanks so much. Maybe those will help you when you take on the next gym. I highly doubt it. Huh, are those SS tickets you have? I've got one extra, so... No way, they're for the SSN, right? I hear it's a luxury cruise liner that's traveled all over the world. Man, I'd love a chance to see what it's like on the inside, even just once. You gave Blake an SS ticket. Here, hey, or hey, are you sure I can have this? You know I'm definitely going, right? Where do you get this anyway? From Bill. Eek! You got it from the talking Pokemon. What? Oh, it was a person after all. Well, I, I guess that's good to hear. Hey, just uh, forget about that whole thing, okay? I, th I think I'll press on ahead. See you there. All right. Let's talk to this guy over here. When my Pokemon is on my shoulder, it will let me know when it's ta with, with its tail when there is an item on the ground nearby. Is that actually something I need to look for? Item? A repel? I kind of want to shiny hunt a Growlithe. I, I kind of want to do that for purposes. I mean, let me let me let me pull it up here on my phone. Let me let me pull up shiny Growlithe. Actually, let me put up pull up shiny Arcanine. Oops, I did Arceus on accident. Arcanine. Go to images. I mean. In all honesty, that's a really good-looking shiny, and I feel like... Oh, we got a lure. Pikachu looks surprised for some reason. Calm, calm down, buddy. I'm not trying to... Why is it... Stop. Stop moving towards his eye. Just pet his tail. Scratch his head. Okay. But yeah, that's something I really want to do, is is check out f shiny hunting. I, I understand how it works. The lighting's not great in the underground path. People drop, uh, people drop of a lot of thing. People drop a lot of things down there, I hear. Great translating. Did no one proofread that sentence? Okay, so we're Route 6 now. So, up there... Okay. Okay, so we got... We got Rich Dude here. Can I double battle these two? No. Okay. I know they battle. Let's... You know what? You know what? Let's shiny hunt this episode. Let 
Let's let's go let's go shiny hunt. I know we started this episode off like it's gonna be a normal episode, but I want to have fun in this. I want to do some other creative things. I can't be shaking this ball, otherwise it thinks I pushed Y. But I want to do like some other creative fun stuff while we play through this game. So well, let's do a little shiny hunting. This probably won't be the last thing we shiny hunt, but I want Growlithe. I want Growlithe, so I want I well like I know I'm going to have Growlithe till the end. So I think it makes a logical sense to to uh, shiny hunt it. And I mean, clearly, from what we've played so far, this is not going to be a challenging run. I mean, I don't know why I jumped down here. Now I'm a, now I'm hoping a Growlithe spawns here. And it's Pidgey. We're going to jump down and get it to reset, because the Jigglypuff just spawned. Reset. Alright, so the top reset. It should all reset by the time I walk up here, hit Cerulean City, and then drop back down. Should have reset. Yep, there's a Growlithe. Okay, here we go. Encounter 1. We got to get 30 of these, I believe. I don't know why I held up 4. Got to get... 30 of these. Okay. I got plenty of money for Pokeballs and whatnot, so I'm not quite worried about any of that. My TV sound has been on. So I apologize if there was any echo. We're gonna get, like, massively overleveled here. So I gotta avoid Pokemon, look for Growlithe. So we're one in. There's a Rattata. My friend Shiny hunted a Rattata to start this game out. Which j just sounds awful. How is there not a- spawn another Growlithe? There were Growlithe spawning like out of control the last time I played this. And then now, it's freaking Raditas. Like, get get out of here with the Raditas. Okay, I guess we gotta jump down. We gotta go all the Oh, of course, of course the Growlithe spawns when I walk away. That's, that's just, just, just perfect. Just exactly what I expect from, to happen. I guarantee you... Oh, no, it's not gone. I was going to say, I guarantee you it's gone, but it's it's not. It's actually not gone. Great throw. I have about 100 balls by the time you include great balls and premium balls. I might have a little bit more than... What was that throw? What is this? Stop it. I'll just throw it normal. There. That was like a perfect throw. Only I wasn't, like, aiming for an excellent throw, so it didn't end up being a great throw. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look look at that. You throw it like this, and you just get some prime throws. And, of course, it broke out of an excellent throw. I mean, that was a beautiful throw, and you're gonna... You're gonna do me like that, Growlithe? Actually not getting a whole lot of experience from this, so we probably won't. There's the catch combo to two. I think you gotta get the catch combo to like 30. But this whole episode is gonna be dedicated to Shiny Growlithe. Okay. Get out of here, Raditas. No, no, no. Ugh. I don't think running into a Pokemon messes up your counter. But I'm not entirely sh I can I'm not entirely sure about that, but we'll find out. Okay, it's a Pidgeot. It's a Pidgeotto. Alright, let's go around. Get the root. Okay, it all reset up here, so that's good. Jump back down. 
guess we can hold on where what is that lure under under catching pocket no float can hmm oh here we go lure it's rare pokemon more likely to appear sure let's try this i don't think growlith is a rare pokemon but it's just making more pokemon appear in oh growlith there we go it's a big growlith Um, all right, we're going to throw it like, and it jumped. I mean, I really like throwing it like this, but it's, it's, it's slightly weirdly annoying. Uh, come on, man. And that, it like threw it early. I mean, you can be a little bit more accurate when you throw it this way. You can be a little bit more accurate, but... It's still much easier to just do it like this. <laughs> Mew got to 22. I'm hoping Pikachu, we, we cap out at like 25. I don't want to get it too much higher. First Psychic move, uh, but not a move that I want. Keep old moves. Alright, there's the three catch counter on Growlithe. Get all those Abras. I need to get them off screen so that they respawn or they despawn. There's a Growlithe. Come here. Come here. This will get us to our four counter. Come on. There we go. Nice easy catch. Much easier than it's been going for us. I wish I could play with this like this and it wouldn't like open random crap. Look at all those bonuses. 178 XP. That's going to make things level up really quick. Pikachu's up to 23. I might as well take... If I'm going to catch a shiny Growlithe, hold on. Logic. Okay, we're going to get Charmeleon. I believe Squirtle evolves into War Turtle at level 18. go. Charmander evolved into Charmeleon. Pokedex entry. Tough fights could excite this Pokemon. When excited, it may breathe out bluish white flames. Oh, Squirtle evolves at 16 too, so we're gonna get War Turtle too. This may be a little bit longer of an episode, uh, cause I think I'll probably go at least a half hour doing this, so half hour more i'll probably push the hour mark so probably like 45 an hour's tops that this episode's going if it leaks into the next episode it leaks into the next episode when tapped on its head this pokemon will pull it in but its tail will stick out a little bit catch a counter up to four so turtles i used to live on a lake um and i used to go turtle hunting not like hunting, but we used to we used to catch turtles and then we'd put them in a bucket and we'd have a bunch of turtles and then we'd let them go at the end of the day. But yeah, I had a friend, uh, her name was Courtney, and we used to do that all the time. Just a little bit of a story about that. But there were uh, there were certain people that would so it became kind of a thing on the lake, um, just between her and I. But but people we knew around the lake. Uh, they started putting out like logs or they would leave their shore stations in because uh, sometimes with like jet ski shore stations you can pull them out of the water and set them on shore when they're not in use um and so they would leave them in and turtles would get on them and whatnot or there was even a lady an older lady who got a dock extension just a little bit of a dock extension and put it below water so that the turtles would get up on top for us to for us to catch um, let's see. I need to get a Butterfree. So let's go ahead and level up the Caterpie while we're doing this. We got a big Growlithe up there. So let me jump, let me go down and around. This is the one part that's annoying about shiny hunting here. 
is the fact that you gotta go up and around and around and up and around. If I had like a bike, it wouldn't be an issue, but I don't have a bike. And there's a lot of Pokemon there. Come here, come here. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, sure, use the other one. Come here, Growlithe. Too many Pidgeotos. I'm gonna throw it like this. Ugh. Just a little bit, just just a little bit off to the side. Catch it, catch it. Oh my gosh. There we go. There's a great throw at least. Wasn't an excellent, but at least it was a great. Boom. Oh, come on. You're not making shiny hunting you easy, Growlithe, and I almost just missed completely. Chill, Growlithe. And it ran away. I might just switch to the Great Balls. Because... Not that we need to speed it up, per se, but... We need to actually catch every Growlithe we encounter. This is a lot of Pidgeys. Can you go away, Pidgeotto? Thank you. There we go. Now we should get another spawn. Uh, hello? Alright. We're just getting Pidgeotos and Jigglypuffs and everything I don't want. Hmm. Can I... Can I get... Okay, fine. I'll jump down here. Alright, I'm gonna try to reset them. I'm gonna walk all the way down here. I don't want to leave the area, but I'm gonna walk, like, down here. And then... Walk back up. Should have reset them. Yep, totally reset the area. Beautiful. I'm not gonna use the other lure just yet. There's a Growlithe. Nice! So, I know now at least... So it's kind of just a kind of give and take of figuring this out. But at least now I know if I go all the way to the bottom and then walk back up to the top, that completely resets the area. Come on, why? Why? Why can't I just catch these Growlithe's first throw? It's a great throw. Work with me. Work with me, Growlithe. Nice throw. One, two, and... Okay. okay, no, I don't need help. We're throwing great balls. I don't even care. Oh, that was so close to being an excellent. Thank you. Caterpie's gonna level up a bunch, which will be good. Alright. Now we just wait for the spawns. Got two Raditas and a Pidgey. Something else should spawn up top here or below. There should be one more spawn. It's another Radita. So I'm gonna jump down here. No, no, no. Leave me alone. Alright. There's an Abra spawn. So that should be full up there. So now we're hoping for the spawn down here. In hindsight, this is probably not the best place to shiny hunt a Growlithe. But I want to shiny hunt the Growlithe. So here we are. I want one more spawn here before I just... Okay, so there's the Radita. So now it's clear... No Growlithe, so run down here, clear it. Okay, it didn't clear Abra, but that's fine. That should clear before I get down there anyway. Hmm. 
might go back to Cerulean and see... How much money do I have? Um... Where... How do I even look at that in this game? Usually looked at your trainer card, but where the heck is my trainer card? Oh, I see it. There we go. 16 th K. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and see if I can buy lures. Also, should probably buy more great balls. If that if that's what we're gonna be throwing at these growlers, I should probably buy some more. I may split this episode and get the combo up at least to a reasonable... Because right now we're at like a combo of five, so we're like way far away. Can we buy lures? That's the main question. I might turn on some Netflix and... We can buy lures. Okay, beautiful. Give me... Give me like 15, 16 of these. And then 10 great balls at a time. I mean, I really haven't needed my money yet. And I haven't needed healing supplies yet. And with just how I'm playing the game, and I'm going to be doing stuff like this. Ow, I just dropped my PlayStation controller on my foot. I always leave my PlayStation controller charging. What is it doing? Which in hindsight is not good, but... Because then I, you know, I move my feet around and it knocks the controller off. Okay. Do I have anything to sell? I think I already sold all my crap that I have to sell. Yeah, well, I guess I can sell this stuff, but it's not worth anything, so... Okay. We are good. So Shiny Hunting Growlithe will probably be a t will obviously be a two-part thing because we're already 22 minutes into this episode <laughs> and we haven't done anything. We haven't Shiny Hunting Growlithe yet. We're only on a chain of five if that even carries over from me leaving the area. But I think this was the smart decision overall even if it reset my counter on Growlithe. Well, I'll get it for the next episode. I'm sure it'll take me a half hour or so. 20, 40 minutes. I don't know. I'll turn on, turn on some TV or something. But I don't think we, you, you guys, don't want to see every Growlithe encounter. I mean, it's the same thing. First week. Oh, beautiful! Right off the bat, there's a Growlithe, so we can check our combo, see if it carries over when you leave an area. I'm just happy if I can get nice throws. I, I, they help out more than a dud throw, so. There's the Growlithe, so we hope this says combo of six. Ooh, two large mighty candies. Caterpie to level five, Caterpie to level six. Caterpie should evolve here soon into... No, okay, so catch combo is now two. So you gotta do it... I don't know how it's set two. I don't know if you have to do it with a little bit of urgency for speed. We need to use these lures. Okay, so we've got two Raditas spawned in here. There's a Growlithe. Let's go get the Growlithe. This will get our catch counter to three. Boom. Okay. Caterpie to 7, Chansey to 19. And there's the Caterpie evolution. Might as well work on my Pokétex while I'm doing this. While I'm farming up, essentially farming levels, trying to catch a shiny, I might as well, might as well work on this. Your Caterpie evolved into a Metapod. And this game is a game that I really do want to get into shiny hunting. I usually 
What is happening? I usually didn't... Sh I really haven't shiny hunted much in other games. I... I found a... Okay, I'll tell the story while we look for more Growlis. Let me... Let me get out of this. So, I caught a... M was it a... Uh, was it a Mesprit? I can't remember. One of the lake legendary Pokemon... I caught, I caught one of them, first try, didn't even know it, went into the battle to catch it, and it was legendary. I didn't even know it was legendary for until I, like, took it out of the box and used it. Um, that's a legit legendary I've had. I hard reset for Suicune 2,000 plus times in Auris for it. Um, I have a legit legend or a legit legendary. I have a legit shiny... Charizard. Um, I have a shiny. I'm trying to think what else I have. I think I I hard reset a shiny. Another shiny in Auris. I can't even remember. But I only have like, like eight or so like legit shinies like that I that I hunted. I have some shinies from like Wonder Trades or like a friend traded them to me or whatnot. But. I, I don't really have many that I got on my own. Come here, Growlithe. Come here. These lures work beautifully. I love how when you throw this, it's just a simple bring your hand back, and it's right back into your hand. That's an excellent... There we go. That should be four. I'll get the combo back up to like five, and then we'll call it an episode, and I'll I'll work on this off screen. I'll probably take all of these Pokemon out when they hit 25-ish. I don't know. I don't want to get it like super over leveled, but we're, 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 we're going to get super over leveled. I mean, it's just the nature of how I'm going to play this playthrough. We'll, we'll start on Let's Go Eevee, a challenger, more challenging playthrough. Okay, so many Raditas. So, so many Raditas. Just, just leave me alone, Raditas. Just, no, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Pop out of that. There's a Growlithe. There we go. Does the middle and bottom section seem like to be the most common Growlithe spawn spots? There's a great throw. Three. Bang? No. Didn't get it. There's a throw. That should be excellent. Beautiful. And catch it. Let's go. Growlithe caught. Got two mighty candy larges. Mew got to 23. The next gym is just going to get the absolute clapped. Okay, there's a Growlithe down here. No, what did I hit? Stupid Pidgey. Go away, Pidgey. Okay. So we're at like the 28 minute mark. We'll probably go to like the 35 minute mark, see how far we can get then. And then I can judge about how long I, it'll take me. So seven minutes, we won't count this catch. We won't count this catch as part of that. 356 XP, oh, okay. Pikachu to 24, Chansey to 20, Charmeleon to 18. Mm, slam. Slam is good, but I don't like it over the moves I have. I like that double kick because it helps protect it a little bit against rock type Pokemon. Uh, I don't. It, I obviously it won't stick around forever, but I don't care about minimize. Can you learn like flamethrower, Charmeleon? That would be helpful. Metapod. And here we go. Here's our Butterfree. I think I much preferred... 
Like, I like Butterfree, and I really like Beedrill, but I think I far prefer, prefer Beautifly and Dustox to Butterfree and Beedrill. Even though Beedrill is my favorite out of the pair of those, I think Butterfree is probably my least favorite. Its wings covered with poisonous powder repel water. This allows it to fly in the rain. Hmm. Interesting. Learned Gust. I gotta be doing, like, crazy good on the Pokedex. So that's seven. I think the combo where you're then optimal to catch a shiny is 30. So... Now what do we want to level up? Spiro, I think Firo's like level 30, and I know you can catch him later in the game, so I don't really think it's a big deal. Where's my Oddish? My like level 18 Oddish or whatever. Where is that? Was it really only level 11? No. Really? No, here, no. Oh, here it is. Here's my 18 Oddish. Let's just add it back to the party. I don't really see anything here that I need to level up. I mean, like, Golduck into Psyduck, Geodude. I mean, none of these are, like, important. I think I'm just gonna... Huh, 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 huh. In case I ever want to use this Beedrill, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it to the party. Okay, so here we go. We've got... About four minutes left of this. So here's one. So here's the first encounter. Here's one Growlithe. Let's see how many we can get in four minutes. Oh, I actually hit that. Hit it in the toes. Hit it in the toesies. And we got the toes catch. Nice. Growlithe caught. A Neneb berry. War Turtle to 18. Probably. I don't know. I don't know, I don't feel like there's a huge need to take the Pokemon out of my party. Pidgeotto. There's a Growlithe. Come here, Growlithe. I don't know if the higher your combo gets, the more common they become. Oh, there's the excellent. Got the excellent throw, baby. Let's go. And obviously, obviously... A clutch, excellent throw like that. Rewarded with the catch. B drill to 12. I mean, because whatever I get here, shiny-wise, for the Growlithe, it's going to get added to the party. I'm, I'm definitely taking the shiny Growlithe with me. If it spawns another Growlithe here fairly quickly, if I don't have... Ugh, it's spawning Pidgeys. But if... I don't have to reset. Oh my gosh, it's Pidgey City. And it's an Abra. Okay, that's a reset. That's a definite reset. Come down here. I think you just need to touch this corner down here. And then come back up. Yeah, it cleared out most of it. There's like one Pidgey. There's a Growlithe now, of course. There's a Growlithe. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh my gosh, two Growlithe. Beautiful. This is going to be beautiful if they start spawning more often. Oh, of course you had to attack. And there's there it is. I think throwing it this way is the way. Throwing it. Boom. Bringing it back. I think it's the way. It's the way. Everybody getting that experience. There's the 10 combo. We'd be at like a 15 combo if it didn't reset for me going back. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown that. I, I tried to hold up and then it was like too late. That's not an excellent, but that's okay. I always wished in Pokemon that they had like a system where the more Pokeballs you threw at a Pokemon the more it would wear it down. Kind of, because, you know, they have to use, like, effort to struggle out of the Pokeball. I always thought it would make sense that it would wear them down over time. So up to the 11 catch combo. So it looks like we're ca we caught three. If one can spawn here quickly, we could, yeah, we'll do four in 
Okay, we might actually, if they're gonna spawn this quickly, I might not cut the episode, because they're spawning in really quickly. No, 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 stop it. This stupid thing, when you press it down sometimes, it wants to, it wants to, like, like, when you press it down here, it, like, sometimes wants to drag the stick down or up. That wasn't anything. It was a good throw, but... I didn't wait for the certain. Don't you run away. Don't you run away. I gotta throw it quickly. Now, now I'm kind of worried about it running away. After you miss a couple of balls, it's kind of like questionable on whether or not you're actually going to catch it. I actually had a chancey when my game messed up and I had to restart. Um, not restart, but I had to go back and re-catch some of the Pokemon that I had gotten. Chansey was one that broke out a bunch of times and then ran away. Beedrill learned to rage. 12, 12 counter now. So there's, I'm just going to jump down here and get this Growlithe. I know one might still spawn up there, but got to get the Growlithe while I have a chance. This is a level 17 Growlithe. Could have already joined the team. I'm going to be so hyped when we catch this. I mean, we're dedicated now. We're in it. We're in it now for the for the shiny Growlithe. I mean, we are completely dedicated to getting that shiny Growlithe. Thirteen combo. There's. Oh, I want to catch the Chansey so bad, but I can't catch the Chansey because it would mess up my catch counter. Because the Chanseys are worth. Oh. It's, the Chanseys are worth so much XP, I'd probably get like 900 XP from that Chansey, because it's a stronger Chansey than the ones that I've already caught. And so it would probably wor be worth premium experience. The Growlithe, though, are flowing in now. Now it's like... It's a Growlithe party. Pikachu's level 25. I, I, I think I should probably stop leveling it. It's probably... I'll, I'll go with 30. I think 30 will be the egregious amount that I need to stop at. 30. Another Growlithe. Tiny Growlithe. Oh, I went for the quick throw and it went for the quick attack. I'll take the nice throw. Tried to get that off before it could reload and attack again. And... Did not pay off. Ooh, hoo, hoo. snuck that one in there. Snuck it in. Ah, oh, and it didn't even pay off. Didn't even pay off. Come on. We're rolling through this now. It was a little bit of a struggle bus early, but we're rolling now. Chansey's up to 22. Fury swipes? Yes, I would. Oh, no, actually. Hmm. I mean, it's better than smoke screen, so I'll get rid of smoke screen. But usually I want fury swipes because they lower the opponent to 1 HP, then you can catch them. But that's not a thing in this game, so I'm not really sure it matters. We're up to the 15 combo. There's a Growlithe. Come here. Come here, buddy. That was a beautiful throw, just didn't exactly let the circle close on it. Right when it comes out. There we go. Oh, and I, I, I totally, I totally blew that throw. Totally choked that throw. I threw it at the perfect time. I just choked my throw way to the, way to the right. I shank that baby. War Turtle wants to learn Water Gun. Nice. 
definitely gonna get rid of rid of rid of, rid of get rid of withdraw. Sixteen combo. That stupid Chansey teasing me. Oh, the double Growlithe spawn. Let's go. It is getting much better, much better. So once you get these combos going, that's when, that's when stuff gets real good. That's when the stuff gets real, real nice. Boom. Everybody get that experience. 17 combo. About to make it 18 right here. I love this thing so much. It's so nice. This is like the coolest thing. I almost didn't buy this. I was like, 50 bucks? That just sounds ridiculous. But man, it, was it worth it. You got Mew, which was awesome. Mew by itself is not worth 50 bucks. But Mew adds to the value of this thing. And this thing is just super fun. I played handheld yesterday while I was waiting for Thanksgiving. Okay, I gotta jump down. That, of course, right when that Rattata blitzes at me. I'm gonna walk down here and reset it anyway, even though there's a Growlithe. I'm gonna reset it. Of course, there's another Chansey. Why must you troll me like this, Pokemon? Why? Why? Oh, I jumped into the Chansey, too. Oh, my gosh. I trolled myself. What level is it? 17? I, I, I played myself. Oh, there's a Growlithe. Beautiful. Huge Growlithe. Alright, we're up to the counter of 19. We're getting we're getting close. We're gonna call this at an hour. So we've got 18 more minutes to try to find the shiny Growlithe. If we don't find it, it'll be in the next episode. Oh, of course there's another Chansey. I saw a Growlithe. I'm gonna give this a chance to spawn a Growlithe. Five. Oh, da, 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 da. Didn't spawn one. Probably spawn one right when I jumped down. Come here, Growlithe. It's a huge Growlithe. And I shanked my throw again. I think it's when I cock my arm and I throw it like this. Instead of straight. I gotta... I gotta... Not practice, but I, but I gotta pay attention. Look at that. Four levels ups. If we probably would have gotten like two more XP B drill, we would have had up to five level up. No one learned any new moves. Okay, we're two thirds of the way there. There's a Growlithe. I'm gonna give it a chance. I mean, it does spawn a lot of Pokemon now. Like, I think it's like five per. Okay, jump down. Where's the Growlithe? Come here, buddy. Ah, I tried to hold up, and you just can't do it easily. And then I got a... I got a duck. I threw a duck out there. Eee! There's the Beedrill level up. I mean, essentially at this point, we're playing this playthrough for fun because we are, I guarantee, supremely overleveled. Alright, I'm gonna give it like one... Okay, it's it spawned a Growlithe, so it doesn't even matter. I was gonna say I'm gonna give it like one spawn and then I was gonna reset. Once I get to the bottom, I want to do pretty quick resets because... 
if we're at the top, I can hit the top, hit a Growlithe, wait and see if one spawns at the bottom, and or one below, and then if that occurs, I can see if one spawns below that, or if it spawns at my level, and then we can quickly move through and go from there. We can't go quickly through if this Growlithe isn't going to get caught. Come on, Growlithe. Alrighty. Ten mighty candies. We're up to the good old 22 counter. Alright. Oh, there's another Growlithe. I keep saying, alright, let me count this down and then we'll, we'll go somewhere else. Oh gosh, why a pig? Go Get out of here, Pidgey. Gets out of here. Okay. You know what I'm surprised they didn't add from Pokemon Go? Um, they pretty much took everything else from Pokemon Go and added it. I'm surprised they didn't add the, like, those insta-catches. At least, maybe they have. Maybe I, maybe I just haven't seen it yet, but. We're getting there. We are getting there. This bottom area here, where I am right now, has been the most consistent Growlithe spawn. Okay, I'm going to jump out now. Hit the quick reset. Do not want to accidentally walk in there. So the chance he didn't respawn, but everything else did, so we should be good. Definitely want to use the lure. I see a Growlithe already. Which means we're skipping the top one, probably. I'll give it, like, a couple seconds to spawn a Growlithe. But it looks like it pretty much spawned everything it's going to spawn. The top has been pretty limited to three. Yeah, it's not spawned anything. The top seems to be three, the middle seems to be four, and the bottom seems to be five. It, that's just kind of what I've seen. I'm not entirely sure that's the case, but that's kind of the hierarchy that I've kind of noticed so far. Pikachu's about to hit level 27. All right, catch combo 24. We're almost to that 30 threshold. It's going to spawn one up here. Chancy, that's not the spawn we want. If I go sit in this corner, run back here. Almost have like a better chance of it spawning on this middle section here because it's just Chancy. The top is now... Oh, there's a Growlithe. Oh, there's two Growlithe down here. I totally missed one of the Growlithe. I guess it must have spawned in low. At a, like, lower on the... On the platform. Now I'm, like... Now I'm getting, like, super excited because I know we're getting close to, like, peak time. I know it's not, like, an automatic... Oh, at 30 combo, you're gonna get a shiny. I know your combo can get to like 80 or whatever. That's why I'm saying at one hour we're calling it and then I will start the next episode when we find the shiny. That's kind of where we are. Come here, buddy. Get that. Oh, oh. I mean, by the time I'm done with this, I will be an expert in <laughs> exactly how much you need to put behind a throw at a Growlithe. Alright. Mew to 27, Chansey 25. Chansey wants to learn Takedown. How much damage does Takedown do? Okay, well, why did you just do that? Ninety. All right, I'll get rid of Growl for it. 
It does damage to Chansey, but Chansey has a bunch of health. So that might actually be a really good move for Chansey. 23. All right, we're up to the 26 combo. We got 10 minutes. Can we find can we find the shiny Growlithe? Come here. Come here, Growlithe. Get out of the cluster of all of those Pokémon. Get down. Get down here. Oh, yes. What a throw. What a throw. Oh, come on. You can't reward that throw game. And then I throw it just an absolute duck. I'm out here like, oh my gosh. I'm out here like final season Peyton Manning out here throwing just, throwing just ducks. And now I'm wasting great balls. Oh my gosh. Where is my ball going there? Go straight. Oh my gosh. I'm out here throwing the absolute ducks of all ducks. And, and it doesn't catch. It doesn't catch. I swear, Growlithe. Oh my gosh, I throw another duck. Oh my gosh. This has become... This has just become tragedy at the 50 minute mark. We've hit tragedy levels of terrible. Just absolute... Absolute tragedy. 27. I'm definitely going to get it to a 30 combo before I call it an episode. Come here, Growlithe. I don't even know. I know you can tell when you find the shiny because it looks shiny in the world. But I don't know if there's any other indicator. Please catch. I w I've wasted a bunch of great balls recently, buddy, and 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 I didn't want to waste any more on you. Twenty four. We're down to twenty four great balls. We we found ourselves in an interesting predicament here. We found ourselves in an interesting predicament. I don't know if I need to keep catching for my counter, or once I get to thirty, do I just kind of run around and wait till I find one? I'm assuming I need to keep catching. But that's an arbitrary idea. That's like, I don't have any proof behind that. Alright, one more. Or one, two more, one more, I don't... I thought it said, did it say 28 and I'm just an idiot? Or was I thinking logically in my mind, one more until we're one away? Or, like, one more till we're at the 30th catch. And, of course, of course, Growlithe, you, you just gotta troll. You just got, And then I, I'm still out here throwing just ducks. And I threw another duck. I, I'm, I'm getting bad. We might go back to the... To the whatever this is. But I threw an absolute duck. 581 experience. Why was that one worth so much? Because I threw an... It's like, oh, you threw an absolute duck. Here's some bonus experience for sucking. Okay. What what catch combo is that? Okay, okay, okay. We need one more. One more. Oh, and there's the last one more. We are at the 30 combo. Granted, I catch this idiot. And I threw another duck. Why is it doing that? And then I threw a perfect one, and it was like, nope, we're going to have him attack. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. The great balls are running low, boys and girls. And, and, and this is... How many do I have left? We have 16... I think it's time to switch back to the right. Okay, and, and Growlithe ran away. That's like the ultra tragedy there. Come on, something spawn. Okay, I think it's time for the reset. Let's go down here and reset it. That's real tragic that that Growlithe ran away. I should probably reset everything, but... Oh, and even reset Chansey. Nice. I'm trying to hang close to the fence so that it 
it will spawn stuff while I'm walking up here, and then when I walk back down... There's a Growlithe. Okay. And, of course. This'll be interesting. It's red for the Growlithe now. Which means our odds are low of catching. And I don't know what the negative of not catching is. Or if there is a negative. Come on. Oh my gosh. I don't have like a million rat- oh my gosh, and I throw a duck. And then it runs away. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I don't know why I jumped down here. Now I'm just praying that a Growlithe spawns here. Uh, this is bad. If something else spawns that's not a Growlithe, I have to go for the reset. I gotta go for the reset. This has gotten, like, tragically terrible, because I feel like if, like, time ticks... It's bad for you. I think it resets your counter as time ticks on and you don't catch one. So I gotta reset this. We did so well and then it became such a tragedy. Like such a tragedy. Everything was going fantastically and then it just went to tragic. Like, I have a feeling when we catch this Growlithe, it's going to be way below where we want it to be. Like, it's not going to be at 29 anymore. It's going to be at, like, 18. Well, we're about to find out. I'm really hoping that's not how it works and that you don't have to be perfect, but it would not surprise me at all. Oh, it completely reset my counter. Huh. Well, okay then. It completely reset my counter. That is... That is something there. So if a Pokemon runs away from you, it completely resets your counter. You cannot have one run away. So if you miss, like, one or two Pokeballs, you need to throw the Raspberry. Huh. That's really interesting. That is really interesting. Hmm. Jump down on this Growlithe. I, why did it get the Rattata? I jumped down right on the Growlithe. So that is, that is an interesting, and the Growlithe disappeared. What is that? Okay. So here's the thing, I am going to call it an episode. In the next episode, we will start by catching Shiny Growlithe. I will get this all prepped and ready to go. I will catch the Pokemon we need. We'll get the, I'll get the counter all the way back up to a place we need it to be. And then we'll go from there. But obviously I can't do anything now. My counter got reset. So in the next episode, we will start out with Shiny Growlithe. I promise you that. I will do my best to get Shiny Growlithe, but I need to I need to find a way to get some money. So I'm going to work on that, uh, whether that's selling or whatever I need to do. I should have some stuff to sell, but we need Great Balls because these Growlithe are actually kind of hard to catch. And so... Let's see here. What do we have to sell? Huh. Ooh, we have these mighty candies large. Oh, wow. They're worth a whole $10. Wow. So what is this worth? Like $1,000? Yeah, 1330 Okay, so we gotta sell these, definitely, because I don't even use these. 
there is no way we're getting anywhere near how much money we need. Hmm. I don't think I'm ever going to want repels in this game. I don't really need an escape rope. What does the chalky stone do? I don't know. We'll hold on to that. But, like, this is the issue, is that there's nothing here to help me create extra cash. Like, this gets me 1800 bucks. I don't really need ethers. I haven't had a huge propensity to need revives, so I'm gonna sell those. Burn heal. I mean, we're gonna be catching more of these Growlithes, so I might as well sell the Mighty Candies. I can sell one of the antidotes, not that that does much for me. Yeah, we kind of found ourselves in a little bit of a predicament here. Hmm. Could sell Pokeballs. Man, that value on selling Pokeballs, though, is terrible. But I'm going to sell 24, because we're going to need... I'm going to need the money. I mean, we need... Hmm. We're going to need more Great Balls, because I'm down to, like, none. By 30. Oh, good. They fixed that. Now I don't have to buy them 10 at a time. That's good to know. So how many lures do I have left? Does it not tell me? I have eight right now. Um. Okay, I'll figure this out. Like I said, we will start next episode out with Shiny Growlithe. Granted, I don't mess stuff up and end up with no Pokeballs or no anything to do anything related to catching a Shiny Growlithe. I will do my best. I'm going to save now, and then I can reset if I mess it up. Because I want to start next episode with Shiny Growlithe, and so that's what we're going to do. I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.